we are the aroma of Messiah to Hashem among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. We are that aroma to the one and go from the aroma from death to death or from life to life, right? But the choice ultimately is yours. The choice is yours, right? To go from victory to victory or to death, right? The choice is yours. You have to till those seeds that are within you. You have to cause them to grow. And that's by being a part of a congregation. That's by walking with Hashem by yourself. They're both equal. They're both important, right? From beginning, from Genesis to Revelation, Hashem always desires to dwell among a, a people. He says, and they shall be called my people. He didn't say, and they shall be called my persons. If he said that, then we would have all excuse to be as individualist as we want, as self-centered as we need to be. He doesn't say that, right? He says, and they shall be called my people. Right? Yes. Right? So stop making excuses. Somebody didn't greet you, didn't give you a hug. Don't assume that they're upset with you. They probably have as much going on in their life as you do in yours. Right? If you're really concerned, you'll see how they are, right? Instead of right away wanting to do the Amalek thing. They must not like me, so now I must take advantage of them. <laughs> right? Make sure you do the, the whole Captain Morgan pose while you're getting ready to do that too. <laughs> Let me go further on. You shall make it of acacia wood and overlay it with gold. The wood represents our steadfastness with Hashem. What is the beauty of wood? Though it can be broken, generally when it's under a lot of pressure, it'll bend and then come back, right? Yes. It'll bend and then come back. It'll bend and then come back. And the gold is the purity, right? The crown, the purity, right? And so we must walk with him in all, as we just discussed last night in class, we must walk with him in all honesty. And the honesty starts here. Because you have to get this temple clean. Right? So you have to be honest with yourself, honest with Hashem, and then be honest with your brothers and sisters. Oh, and by the way, withholding something from your brother or sister is as the same as lying to them. All right? Because you have no authority to withhold the truth. If someone could tell me one place where Hashem says you're allowed to withhold the truth. Anybody? Anybody? The what? The truth. The truth. He doesn't say withhold it. Did he say withhold it from all nations? Go to all the nations and withhold the truth. Right? No? No. Are you all certain? Yes. And the reason why your house is still haunted is because you haven't had the tenacity to be honest. Right? And you let other things go out there. Let me go further on, that way I can finish. Go the purity of our soul, that we should also speak with Hashem and deal with others in a pure manner. 
Turn to your neighbor and say, deal with people in a pure manner. In Luke 12 and 35, the Messiah suggests that we be dressed and ready for service, keeping our lamps burning at all times. Right? Keeping that fragrance burning at all times. Right? But you can't do that if you have a bunch of stuff under your bed, in your closet, under your, under your, I don't know if people still have those area rugs, <coughs> under that, oh, somebody does, I heard somebody say, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel all by myself now. <laughs> you, oh Lord, Keep my lamp burning, my God who turns my darkness into light. There's only one way to do that, guys. There's only one way to do that, is that we have to walk with him. Right? And in order to walk with him, you have to be honest. Right? Yes. You cannot step on the heads of shorter people to get there. <laughs> As entertaining as that might be in, 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 up here, right? We can't do that. And I'm trying not to look at the people in here who are shorter than me, right? So, and, so, and go like this, okay? But nor can you take advantage of anyone else to do that either, right? But it is our job to uplift one another. Right? To guard one another, to guide one another, and to rebuke one another. <coughs> now, it does not say chastise one another, okay? It's not your job to punish. You're not the punisher of God, okay? Right? I can see one of you right now busting out in a punisher costume and <laughs> trying to show up for a Sabbath, and it's like, no, that's not it. Okay? I think Aaron liked that too much. He was going to go try and get the costume. All right? <laughs> but that's not our job, right? Rebuke, guard, guide, love. Right? Honestly. Right? Y'all say that honestly. 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 What is the root word of, of honestly in, in Hebrew? Emet. Right? Emet. Truth. Right? Truth. And there is no lying truth, is there? No. no. So I want you to say, say this with me. Maze. 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 Haya. 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 I'll try it again. Maze. Maze. Haya. 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 Whatever has happened is past. Right? Today, this season right now is new and you're walking with Hashem. He has yet again gave you the grace and had the mercy to raise you up, to wake you up and let you come and follow Him. Right? Amen. So you start building a new today. Let go of the hurt. Walk honestly in truth with Him. Maze. Maze. Aya, aya, aya. All right. Finally, <laughs> for God, for it is that God commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of Hashem through the message of. Messiah. Understand that joy breaks the barriers. Joy breaks the barriers, but it's not the joy in a worldly context. 
It's joy in the context of the Torah, of the Bible, of the scriptures, of God, right? When happiness is directed towards the will of God, to the love of God, and to the love of his instruction, and to the love of his Messiah, <laughs> then Hashem gives fully, openly, generously from his hand to all. So find within you joy, happiness towards the salvation of God, towards the word of God, towards the will of God. Y'all are quiet. Like I said, that part scared people, so I'll just leave it there. <laughs> All right. Thank you, y'all. Have a good one. I pray that y'all get the skeletons out of your houses and uh, walk fully with God.